Hey guys, if you've been stuck with trying to get perfect exposure, perfect looking colors, and skin tones that are just right on the money, well, boom baby chicken lady. So what is this little thing? Well, let me tell you what this is. This little guy can save you a ton of time and headaches. How this works is if you bring the x right color checker chart made specifically for video onto your shoots and place it in front of the camera, well, this is basically gonna do your color correction for you. Like we're talking fixing exposure, white balancing and matching multiple cameras. I mean, every camera is going to record colors a bit differently, but with this, it takes out all of the guesswork. Now, before I move on, if you're looking for a great color grading resource, i.e. you wanna get the look of your films to stand out, I wanna invite you to our free one hour online color grading workshop where I reveal step-by-step -step how to create a cinematic look in the color grade. And if you find the native tools too complex or overwhelming, then I invite you to try out Cinema Grade. This has an auto match feature for this specific chart where with one click, ba bam done for you. With Cinema Grade, you also get direct on-screen color grading, real-time previews of LUTs, a look transfer tool for getting the same look of your favorite films, and you can even color grade your Premiere Pro, Final Cut, or DaVinci footage on an iPad. All right, we'll first start with how to use this in DaVinci Resolve. We can either use Resolve's built-in color match feature, or we can manually color correct it using the chart data to get the best results. But first, with the auto way, I simply need to choose the chart, the source gamma, then the target color space that we're delivering to. Set the target color balance and white point and finally, align this cool wireframe with the chart in our image. Hit match, and wowza! Now, if the results aren't perfect, we can adjust the highlights, which are a little blown out, and boost the exposure in the midtones a bit. So see, with the auto match feature and a little color correction on our end, it gets us to a good starting base correction. Now for the best results, instead of leaving it to a computer, if you have the time, I do recommend that you do it manually, but I do recommend that you follow these steps. Additionally, manually is the only option in Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro 10, unless you're using Cinema Grade on the Mac. But let's see how to do it manually in both. In Premiere, we first want to address the exposure, so for that, we'll isolate the three rectangular gray steps on the chart using a mask. In this clip, the chart occupies a very small portion of the image, so we can always modify the clip scale and position so we can look at the chart closer and its trace in the scopes will be more noticeable too. Now we can see just those steps in the scope. What's really cool here is these targets show us exactly where to put them in the scope. So using the curves, we'll set the black chip level to around the 10 IRE mark. Then we'll bring up the white swatch to around the 90 IRE mark. And finally, I'll bring up the middle swatch representing the midtones to just below 50 IRE. Simple, right? Let's reset the position and scale and turn off the mask. Now you can see our exposure is looking much better but our white balance is off, bummer. Well, not to worry, I'll switch the waveform to RGB and we'll continue using the color curves to correct for white balance. Now, our goal here is to get all of these grayscale steps to appear as straight white lines in the scope. When red, green, and blue mix equally, we get white. Give me just a moment while I do this. I'm going to each the curves of red, green, and blue and I'm moving the points for the shadows, midtones, and highlights, moving them up or down, essentially adding or subtracting values until the channels align for the three swatches. Let's turn off the mask. And now we have perfect white balance. Now, moving on to color and using the same image and the progress we've made so far, I'll finish correcting this in Final Cut Pretend, but the strategy and the tools are essentially the same. 
Now this time, I'm gonna create a new mask to isolate the color chips, which are located on the bottom row and correlate directly to the vector scope. I'll again use the scale and position to get a better view of the chart. And now let me pull up the vector scope. Aha, what's really amazing here is you can see the relationship between the swatches and the vector targets of the vector scope. So essentially our goal here is to get all of these color chips to point directly towards their vector target and also extend out equally from the center. Again, every camera is going to record colors differently. And so this is where you can really see those differences between different cameras and where we can fix it. First, we'll use the Hoover SAT curve to make sure each vector or color has the right amount. And then we'll fine tune the colors with the Hoover's hue curve. We're adjusting the points for these vectors to get those colors to lean closer to their targets. All right, now let's turn off the mask and take a look at the before and after. From zero to hero, this chart helped us take an underexposed cold image to a perfectly balanced base correction. Of course, sometimes you may still want to make additional tweaks. In this case, the tree in the background is looking a little magenta because of mixed lighting. So I'll fix it with a quick hue versus hue correction. Now, if you follow these steps, it will get all of your cameras and shots to match. And all you have to do is bring this little tool on set. So what do you think about color charts? Will this help your workflow? Let me know what you think if you think it could help. And if you wanna have the auto match feature like you saw in Resolve, then check out our cinema grade plugin for the Mac that lets you do automatic color corrections in Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro 10 with the x right chart. CinemaGrade is a shortcut and has its own set of tools, but if you're determined to learn the built-in tools, then I invite you to sign up for our free one-hour online color grading workshop where I reveal the very techniques that have transformed my filmmaking career and got me into opportunities working with big brands like Facebook. So be sure to check out CinemaGrade or sign up for the workshop. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and then the bell for more grading videos. I hope that seeing ideas like this helps improve the look of your film. Let's go make the grade. Cut. Ah.